So what, what is it about this character, Jane Eyre, who's in the middle of the book, that makes you want to play her, makes you want to um, recreate her for an audience now? She's tough, I think. She's tough and strange and unapologetic. There's a lot in the... One of the things we struggled with is the internal voice of Jane is in the book. And a lot of that, so a lot of what we know in the book about Jane is what's going on in her head, where you can't yeah. just shove that. You can't just you, have someone talking. You can't just go, yeah. yeah. So, so um, what happens in those moments then? What, what, um, we've got drawings behind yeah. us, haven't we? Which, this is your storyboard. Well, things like, so here, <laughs> this, is, this, this is Jane. <laughs> um, that's the expression that, I adopt most yeah. of the time. I only do that's about three expressions. Is, right. One of them is a frown. And so this is a good example. So here is the ensemble. Basically, the ensemble often, as well as playing a million different wonderful characters, sometimes sort of come in almost as Jane's thoughts. Yeah. So rather than Jane just thinking, me, boring people senses, standing all on my own, you know, having a big monologue, it's a much more interesting thing when it becomes a conversation yeah. between lots of people. Yeah. Um, and that is what's going on in her head. And that doesn't always involve words. Sometimes it's just a look is enough. It's a sort of symbiotic dramatic relationship between Jane and her thoughts and a sort of wider consciousness. And sometimes that can be through words and, yeah. and sometimes there's a famous scene in the book, isn't there, where, where Jane Eyre reads a, reads a book of birds, an illustrated yeah. book of birds. Yeah. Um, what are you doing with that without wanting to well, give <laughs> it, giving it well, away? Well, we just, it's quite simple in a way, you know, we're, we're trying to show a moment where Jane escapes into her imagination. And, you know, Show it musically or we, visually? We do that with music, exactly. Yeah. It, it, mm. It's a mixture. I mean, the lights, I think, will be sort of beautiful and strange, and, and the music is already beautiful and strange. And it's just... And Sally's very good at saying, let's not use too many words. You know, you can hear it. As soon as you yeah. have someone rambling on, you're just like, no, get away. You know, let the music speak for itself. Let, let the audience m make links in their own head. Let them see the pictures so that we're not ramming them down their throats, you know. So, so it's a kind of theatre that completely mixes the visual and the musical completely. and the, and the yeah. verbal yeah. at completely. any point. Yes, it's not like you suddenly have a lot of boring stuff and then suddenly we all <laughs> kind of do a dance and try yeah. and liven everything up. It's all, it's all completely integrated. Yeah. So I, I know that from Sally's point of view, I mean, it's, it, obviously this adaptation is, is freely remade, but it's absolutely trying to get to the heart of the book, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Sally's brilliance, I think, is that she understands completely what's important about story, and she doesn't seek to kind of impose all sorts of annoying modern stuff for the sake of it, but at the yeah. same time she brings something completely new. Mm -hmm. So it's as far away as possible from some stuffy old, you know, production where we're all just poncing around in armchairs. It just, yeah. it won't be like that, but neither will it be annoyingly, annoyingly modern for the sake of it. Yeah, you know, yeah, it, it yeah. will be beautiful and fresh and strange and otherworldly and gothic and... Yeah.